What's up YouTube, I'm Bergy, and welcome to a new style of content on this channel where I'll be going over some of my rarest finds of the game after combined 14,000 hours slotted into it with multiple accounts. This list is a bit of a combination of my rarest, most valuable, and most liked doodles, where some doodles may be more valuable, but the circumstances I got it in are extra special to me. I've got a whole whack of doodles that could be on this list, including this little guy right here. So let me know what your favorite doodles are in the comments down below. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe, hit the like, and hit the bell to show to me that I should start doing these videos more often. Anyways, before we get into this list, I want to go over some quick honorable mentions. Alright, at the first spot in the honorable mentions, I have this... Phantom Glubby. Now, I didn't get it with the skin, unfortunately, but I found this little fella in the wild not too long ago, and unfortunately, it's not the doodle I'm chaining, because I would have loved it as the doodle I'm chaining. I caught it anyways. It's a Phantom Forest Star, which is already pretty rare on its own, but including the hidden trait just randomly shows up. Sure, it's, a, it's pretty rare. It's pretty cool. It's gonna get an honorable mention on this list, but it is not cracking the top 10. Next up is my MH10-6 Dark Green Laser Gen. It's probably my least favorite legendary MH10-6, but it is still pretty solid considering the color that isn't really common or popular, but it looks decent enough and I'm happy with it. Let's move on to the next one. We got Milk Hop a lot. It is the unique HT6 Hopolate Final Evolution, also known as Chair Guard. I got May 4th. It is unique number 4 of 25. Put the Galaxy Tin on it. Looks really solid with the new Starlet Lantern skin. But, once again, not on the list. The other Chair Guard I have, Dark Hopolate, an MH106 Black Chair Guard. Really solid, considering the color. I like the combination. And, I mean, maybe I have to go for the whole chocolate collection with the Hoppa Lattes, but we'll see. I've got the chain bound here, so I'm trying to go for another one. Hopefully it's soon enough. Next up is my MHD5, sorry, not MHD5, UHD5 Dust Dune at number 41. It is big. Obviously a really weird doodle that i ended up catching at a decently high number i still need to get a good skin for it i got it back when the unique was just the placeholder flat white so seeing it get the blue later into it was really nice and i i kind of like the combo i just need to get a skin for it so we'll see where that goes and finally Lifley, the Springling. I most recently got this in a trade. It was pretty expensive to get it, but I am happy with what I got. An MH106 Easter tint, and really nice with the skin. I mean, it looks pretty good with the rest of them, but like Nightcrawler, in my opinion, is the best of the bunch. Now, it is incredibly rare, but my top 10 is also just as rare, or just as cool, or maybe just as stupid as we will see with the number 10 spot coming up. And starting off the list, we have Pooper Trooper, the icon at number 10. Obviously, it is not the most valuable doodle, not even close to it, but it is from one of like the original videos on my channel, the one in five million it it's a doodle that's really all i could say it, it is it's a bit of a joke and it's it's worthless right it's brown and violet it's tiny it's a silly little egg but the way i found it was hilarious and i have hardly ever found anything just as wild or good in general in my stream since you can go scroll through a whole bunch of them i haven't really gotten much in that time but because of those circumstances, even though the value is next to nothing, even though it is a bit of a silly choice, it is getting the 10th spot. We will be getting to actual rare finds coming up. Up next is something that's quite the opposite of the Pooper, of Pooper Trooper. It is a rare doodle that's also pretty valuable, 
but I don't like it too much. Um, it's I got super pumped when I found it back December 31st, but got the five stars, withered away that smile, but at the end of the day, it is an MH Tint 5 Jolly Artifixy, and it's an event legendary. It's on an event tint. It's very uncommon. I mean, there's there's a handful of MH Tint Jolly Artifixies out there, but there isn't that many. So this is possibly one of those doodles I can use a star sticker on. I don't think it'll rise too much on the list if I do indeed star sticker it, but it is definitely up high on the rarity part of this but liking it liking it not too much and obviously the five stars pretty unfortunate i like it with the pirate skin it looks all right with the prestige that's just kind of with prestige misfit dollies in general and then winter you can't even see it let's be real pirate looks the best and that is gonna leave it at number nine on this list at number eight is the best time doodle I own and still the most iconic for me personally. It is the MH Tint 6 Double Tint Spring Link Sign and Red. Look at the date met though. Right? That's pretty special. That's why you can see it's a miracle. But imagine this. You wake up on Christmas morning, head up, get your presents, go have a lovely christmas breakfast with your family some eggs some bacon some toast some pancakes and oh you're just having a great time and then you head back to your room you see one little gift it's on your screen it is an mh tint 6 double tint sprinkling it was my first ever mh tint 6 double tint back in 2022 the first year of the game's existence and the build-up for it truly delivered I mean, it was, it's truly special to get this amazing doodle. Obviously, the skins aren't too great. Same with the uh, Easter tent from earlier. But it is just a fantastic find. And even if MH10 6 double tents aren't too valuable trading wise as of lately, it is still one of my favorite doodles and is easily on the eighth spot in this list. Now, at number seven is my MH10-6 Blue Glubby. And another thing I wanna point out, date net once again, New Year's Day, 2023. Interestingly enough, six days after the Springling. Obviously, I have had that gl Glubby chain for quite a while before that, but it wasn't too much right it was it was high but it wasn't actually super high and it was just good enough like it was early enough for it to be like a kind of sort of common to see an mh10 mht6 pardon me but getting the mh10 6 2 on tint week it was amazing and it was my first ever mh10 6 glubby of many on this list by the way but it is not as iconic as the Springling getting Miracle at that spot, but still, Blugadoob, lovely name. I haven't changed its name since I got it, and it is an amazing doodle to have. I need to start putting equipment on these guys, by the way. But the Easter skin looks great, fashionable, looks all right, but the Winter skin, which is what I actually found it on, is just amazing. It is a perfect combo, and I am so glad to get this doodle on to number six. And here we are once again with a Glubby. Who would have thought another Glubby on this list? This time it's a more recent version. It is 17 months, I believe, later after the Blue Gadoob is the Phantom MH10-6 Glubby. This time it took a little bit longer to get, but... It does top the blue glubby in the value and also a bit of the looks as it looks pretty solid. And even with fashionable, it looks great. Winter, not so much, not as much as the blue one. 
Halloween, not as much, but it is a pretty solid MH106 that I like quite a bit. I still haven't trained it to, up too much because I already have a bunch of clubbies I can use, but this is one of very few, actually. I don't think many people have an MH106 Phantom Glubby yet, and with only a few weeks to go, I wonder how many will exist after this time because I'm happy with just a few. But it's a pretty nice doodle at only sixth, right? On to number five. And on to the fifth spot on the list is MH106 Violet Melzeri which will hold the crown currently and probably forever as the doodle that took the longest for me to chain. This thing took six months. Six months to get. I spent the entire sunset event without a single MH26 sunset Melzeri. I had a, I was building a collection of sunset snow bats i would find just random full-on sunset snow bats no misprints unfortunately but just grabbing a bunch you know and just bringing them to snow bat collectors just for the fun of it because that's all i really could do in the entire event i mean i got a couple while chaining other things because i was realizing i was running out of time but a lot of that time was spent on the Melzeri, and unfortunately, it didn't land into much anything. But I am still so happy to end up with this Violet Melzeri. It is probably my favorite reaction. I was in just complete shock, and I was just through the roof to finally get this done. I mean, it is just something so special to take so much time into something and then finally, just finally get it done. And... It's after like so many failed attempts and so many days of chaining and chaining and chaining and chaining and chaining. Oh man. It has the value. It has the looks as it looks really solid with this. It even looks decent with these. Uh, but Navy Captain just looks perfect with it. And it, it really just fits everything and a good spot but it is still only in the fifth place as we go on to the next doodle another Melzeri. it is redemption the phantom Melzeri, and at number four obviously it is another mh10 6 Melzeri, similar to the last one but phantom kind of in the same thought process as the phantom glubby and the blue glubby because the phantom is going to be rare i named it redemption because I got this so incredibly early into the chain. It was at like uh, 130 or so. I was friend chaining. I was getting the chain up really quickly. It only took this. This doodle only took me a few days to get. And I am so happy to get it. It looks perfect with the aquamarine skin. I mean, naming it Redemption, it's just like, it was just like a perfect ending to the whole Malzeri saga of me shading that MH10 Violet. Heck, I was going for an MH10 6 Pride at the start of Malzeri chain. I was getting bad luck in that, so I decided after I reached 100 chain without a MHD6 Pride Malzeri, I would just go for an MH10 6 just for the fun of it. And look, look where we are. Oh man. Now I do know there are more Melzeries, uh Phantom Mistant Melzeries out there rather than the Glubbies, but it is rarer to get 100, 1 in 800 to 1 in 1200. So and it looks better all right like let's be real it looks better i love this this guy it look he looks awesome redemption amazing doodle and for that i'm going to be putting this at number four on to the third spot it is another glubby it is mh did six easter tint glubby and it's easter squared it's got the easter skin and the tint really perfect combo and it is my rarest probably rarest doodle that has like a per, like a set value and there's multiple that exist it is 
like you can't you can't go wrong with this and the way I got it so obviously you can see I did not chain for this one because I was chaining for other things in the Easter event back in 2023 I didn't actually chain too much and a lot of it is gone now which is why I kind of don't have too many MH6 Easter tints but it is a fantastic doodle and I, when I traded for it, I traded away an MH106 Jolly Glubby, as well as some other Jollies and Frosts. So it does feel like a really solid upgrade, and also it looks better. Um, I'll show the other version on screen as well. You can kind of compare the two. It's preference, but I personally believe it to be much better with the Easter tint rather than the Jolly tint. Both are really solid. Anyways... That's the third spot. That takes bronze on the list. Um, to number two, my rarest doodle that I chained. It is Spectacle. Oh my goodness, Spectacle. Now, I mean, you can say that I chained this, but at the same time, I kind of didn't because it was on my alt. So if you want to talk about like rarest doodle with a Bergy OT, you might have to go back to Redemption. But Spectacle takes number two on the list. You can see it is dark gold, or not dark gold, dark green, gold and green. It is amazing. I love this skin. Shout out to Night Havocs. It's a really new skin, really solid. I love it. It's my favorite skidding skin now. And I'm the green combo, the gold, like... On its own, those colors aren't too great, but the combination of the three really works well with it. And, like, giving Subway vibes, you know. It is really a solid MH106 triple tint. Um, if you can check the wiki for the odds of the multi-tints. I believe it is 1 in 2.5 million, but that is refuted quite a bit. So, I mean, you can look at the lists and say those are the odds but they haven't really been confirmed per se but at the end of the day this is an extremely rare doodle if it is one in 2.5 million for the triple tint you also got to factor in the star odds and the misprint odds i chain this at max odds for like over a month so getting this i mean max odds still the one in 2.5 million tint odds plus the star odds which i believe are like 60 40 around that threshold when you were at max odds so 40 40 percent for six stars by the way it is yeah over one in five million it's rarer than the wiglet believe it or not and it is one of my rarest doodles in terms of flat rarity finding it and I mean, there's there's only so many MHD6 triple tints, quad tints in the world right now. Believe it or not, there's actually two MHD6 triple tint skadeeds, which is pretty impressive. But <laughs> but at the end of the day, this is incredibly rare. This is ending at number two. But in first place, the last doodle. I'm not chained by me, unfortunately, but it is my server's mascot. It is Glacetia, the MH Tint 6 Easter Tip Kabara, a one for one doodle, by the way. It is, in my opinion, priceless. It's a fantastic color combo, and while I spent quite a bit for it, it ended up working out pretty well. I ended up trading a Mist and Six Dark Green Day Inferno, a Mist and Six Pink Seamstress, a Miss Big Six Seamstress, and three Winter Glubbies for it, merely as a Mist and Five, along with a Mist and Six Purple Leazar. Now, at the time, it was a pretty big overpay on my end. It was a whole whack of doodles, and I mean, at now. It is so much better. Even if it was a misprint five at right now, I probably would not be able to make that trade. After I used a star sticker and an HT badge, which I got from 
uh, PvP ranked. I ended up using some alts. I got a lot of star stickers, a lot of HE badges. I used one of each to bring it to six stars. Then I used one to make it hidden trait. All of a sudden, it is the number one doodle in my inventory, in my opinion. It is, once again, a one of one. Now, it technically isn't one of one, but... That's because the other ones are dev spawned, and I don't really like to count dev spawn doodles now. That's not really fair. And there also is other Mist and Easter Kabars, but they are not MH10 6 because the 6 star was not even available at the time. So getting a 6 star at the time was is literally impossible before star stickers were added. Anyways, this is the best doodle in my inventory obviously it looks like it looks really good with pretty much any skin like even the lower end skins like even 3d which is pretty unpopular looks good with it even uh, every single one of these just looks really good with it but i just love how the prestige looks you can still get the purple at the bottom the purple the pink you get the blue you get a bit of the green and i mean it wasn't chained by me but me being able to get this and then star sticker and hd badget just perfect stupendous of a doodle and naming it Clasidia. if you don't know i have a server the server's mascot is a kabara so if there's any person to have an mh10 6 easter tick kabara it's gonna be me all right it's going to be me, and I'm so happy to have it. It is my number one on this list. Wow. And those are my personal favorite, rarest finds in Dude World. Once again, let me know what yours are in the comments below. I'm trying something new by sprinkling videos every so often, along with my usual streams, and I'm hoping to get a proper editing software sub I'm sued so you don't get these crappy edited videos with just random bull crap in it. Anyways, I've got a Discord server, I've got a Twitter. If you want to check out some giveaways that I'm hosting every so often, you can find them there. They are in the description, very at the top. Anyways, finally, I appreciate you for watching all the way through, even after a little bit of rambling. If you are in my server, DM me, tell me you watched the whole way through, and you'll be entered into one of my little giveaways that is going to be happening as this video drops. That's all for me, and I will see you soon.